guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's your favorite girls. A to the D to the L to the R to the E. And we are here with another exciting video. And uh, before we start, if you are yet to subscribe to this YouTube channel, please click on that subscribe button now. Click on the button now. And like, this video. and like this video. So in this video, we're going to be teaching you guys how to make the origami handbook. Like you can see here in this video, they're actually like very cute and pretty. So we're going to be teaching you guys, you know, how to go about it. I'm also going to be teaching her because it's also our first time, first time yeah. doing it. And we're going to be very fast about it. So I'm picking this. Okay. And this. So for what you need, you need a rectangular paper like this for the top, the origami top. Like to do this, we'll be needing to do this beautiful lady here. We need a rectangle top for the, okay. we cut this part out. So to do the top, to get a pretty lady, you need a top uh, rectangle paper for the top, the upper part. And then you also need a square for the lower part. The top is called joggery and the skirt is called chima. So we're going to be making our joggery with this paper. We're going to be making our skirt with this particular paper. Do you get it? Okay, so. Thank you, so down. All right, so first things first, we'll start with this one. We'll start with this one. It's better to actually get a fluorescent paper that has a white, um, yeah, the back is white and the front is colored or whichever way you want to call it, whether it's the front or the back, so as to get this, um, you know, the color, most of their colors are, the color on the color is different yeah. from the actual top. So this is what we're going to be doing. I think we should start with the skirt first because okay. it's actually like very, very easy. Okay. So what you want to do is to fold your paper, the square, into two, fold this into two this way. Yes, fold the two edges. Fold it into you should have folded it the other way around because when the paper is closed in this way, fold it this way because the paper is closed, so it does not stop. So you fold your paper into two this way. Okay. Yes, then open it up, fold the other side. Fold it into two also. You have something like this. Yes. Make sure you press it very well because one thing about origami is lines. You will have to have accurate lines because of the folding later on. So open it up. Now fold the two edges, this edge and this edge. Make a touch and fold it into two. Yes. Like this? Yes. And then do the same for the other side too. So now we have like eight points, I think. Maybe six points. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yes, eight points. So yeah, this is what we have at the end of the day. <laughs> so, Moving on, this is this part is a bit tricky, okay. but just I hope you guys get this though. This is what we want to do. I want to fold the paper something like this, put this in, and then bring this shape out of it to get this. <laughs> okay, let me do it again. This straight part, this smooth part will go in fact it's everything that has a smooth part but just the this um edge just be two edges one here one here now bend it in and press this one out mm, you just have to like hey okay, you got you got it then press this is what you're trying to press out like this is a bit difficult. <laughs> I don't know how to do this, but this is what we want to do. Oh, this okay. triangle shape yeah. is what you want to bring out. So this is one, and this is the second. See what I was talking about? Yeah, about the nine, huh? yeah. So yes, this is what you should have, and then you press it out. So this okay. is what you should have. So let me do it once more. You do take two sides, hold it together. Oh god, this doesn't feel like. Okay, so this is what we have. Bring these two sides together and then press 
these two other sides so you have two triangles one triangle on this side and another triangle on this side so this is what you should have so you make sure you press it very well then we're going to do something like this let me show you first we're going to do this to one side no no no, no. to the middle okay. follow the line in the middle you're doing this i'm bringing it to the middle like this yes make sure it's in the middle so this is what i'll do with one side i'll take it to the middle following the line in the middle and then i'm going to press this side and do the same for the other edge too so we have something like this let me just do it. so this is one side i pressed it already now I'll take this other side too and do the same thing to the middle. So this is what we have. No. What are you doing? <laughs> mm. This one will come oh, to the middle okay. and then this one will come to the middle. Yeah. Did you get it? So this is what we are going to have. Yes, exactly. That she's being so serious with it. <laughs> yes. So yes, I assure it can happen. This is this is what we have. Then we're going to take these two ones coming out, fold it to the back. So this is what we're going to do. Fold this to the back. Yes. This way. So I folded it to the back. I'm going to put these two inside. But before I do that, we'll fold this edge to this part and then we're also going to fold this edge to this part you get so you're folding it too and that's too much just a little just something like just small to yes let it touch the edge good and then this part to the same thing so this is what you want to do fold this edge a little to this side and then this one also fold it to this side then to maintain the line like so that the line will show you can also take it and fold it to the back this is what the back looks like right so you take this edge fold it out to the back following the same line and then you take this one also and fold it to the back following the same line do you get yeah. so yes this is what we have so now we'll put all these ones that we folded inside this place. You open this place. Fold this. I should open it. Yes, open it. Yes. Now follow the line to exactly fold it like that. So it's go in. So we're folding this place in. So we have that part that you folded out in. You fold it in. Then this other side, so you do the same thing, fold it in. So we have this for the edges. And then this two that you fold it to the back, you put it inside. So we have something like this. Front and back. So that it should be neat. <laughs> yes. So that's that's all for the, the, the chima part. Okay. So you can put this to one side now this is the doggery the second part you want to fold a tiny part this one just fold the small at the edge yes so i'm just going to be folding this in a little let me fold this so i can show it to you guys wait i found it <laughs> let me see uh you can use this other side then this so yes this is what i just did i just folded tiny this is the part i want to use for the color so I folded tiny the white part okay guys so this is what we have now this part is also tricky because i want to fold this into three parts right how do i do it i'll fold it into three into three this way so this is what we have 
this. Yes, but make it equal. The three has to be equal. So this is what I just folded. Folded it into three. Right? So the three, the parts have to be equal. If it's not equal, it will affect it later. Especially the especially this one and this one. Because that's the and part. So the and part of the three. So fold it into three equal parts and then press it. So this is what we are going to have. If I open it now, this is one, two, and three. So you have to fold it into three parts like this. <laughs> yes, now you're getting it now. It's not equal. Just have to adjust it for it to be equal. So you fold it into three this way. How many times have I said fold it into three? Three. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so are you done? Yes. Now you open it up and fold it into two. Don't press. Okay, fold it into two, but don't press this part. Just hold it this way. This is what you have. Just hold it this way. So sure. now fold it. Yes, don't press it, just fold it like that. Then now you're going to cut. You take scissors and you're going to cut the line that is close to the collar. You're cutting the line that is close to the collar. So this is the line you want to cut. This one. Okay. Way to the middle, but don't cut it off. So you're going to cut here. This is what we have, right? So I'm going to cut this one, the line next to the collar part what i'm going to cut out not this one if you cut it if you cut the wrong side you spoil it so you cut this side okay so now cut it to the middle but don't cut it off so it's you have cuts. something small yes yes cut it <laughs> <It's too laughs> cut it but don't cut it off yeah, that's okay so now this is what I cut up. I left a little space from the middle to this part. So this is what I have. This is what I have, right? Yep. Now you take it back to the form it was before cutting, before opening and cutting it. So back to this form. I take it back to the form where it was before I cut it. Yes, exactly. Now, so all this very wrong. Mm. So these two parts that you are seeing is the and at the end of the, the dress and then this is the front so this is what we want to do now the white part is facing you so you are going to cross the two sides this this part the one that has the white collar the one that has the white collar like yes but you're not holding it for it has to face you this way okay. so the collar is on top this way so you are going to take it and cross it one and two. Oh, okay. Do you get that? Do yeah. you understand now? So now this is what I want to do. I'm going to take this, bend one side, and then bend the other side. So this one is what side I have. Is longer than one side. No, it shouldn't be longer. You are working with the middle. You know where the middle is already. So use the middle that you cut. So this is what you have guys. You take and you take it. This side, bend it, and then this other side, fold it through. So this is what you have. This is what you have. You cut it round. So this is it. I just cut it something like this to get. So I did mine round. I just bend it a little bit. You can either cut it from here straight down. But if you want to give it that handbook shape, you can just which other style can I give it? <laughs> you can do this mama style that is always so guys. This is what we have. So finish up yours. This is pretty much everything. <laughs> Look cut it up. Okay, so after we're done with this, we just have to fold these two sides in. Just bring out the little white parts out like this. For both sides. Then this is what you're going to have. So we're done. The last thing is just to use your 
glue to do the rest of the job so i'll just glue this side to this part so that it doesn't come off we are going to glue the shima to the jogger this way and then that's all see we're done so it's just gluing that is left you just have to glue the skirt to the top and then the top to the top and just so it doesn't fall off then we're going to have something pretty like this okay guys thank you so much for watching this video that's just like everything you need to do to get your own chima and joggery together and if you like the video don't forget to give it a thumbs up share with your friends and subscribe if you haven't hit that subscribe button so you stay updated on more videos and more content so we're going to show you guys the end product and let us see or you can show us or drop in the comment section if you tried making this yes. with us we love you guys thank you bye Thank you.